Hello everyone, Dave Flint from Flint Art Australia. Today we're going to be drawing a clownfish starting with the number six. Don't need much for this lesson, all you need is something to draw with and something to colour in with, namely an orange colouring in device such as a texture or pencil, something like that, or a pastel or crayon, uh, because the clownfish we're doing has orange skin or scales on it. So uh, pretty simple, it's a primary school aged or elementary school aged activity today. So pretty easy. Come and join me and let's get creative. Ready to draw your next sea creature. As I said earlier, we are drawing a, a clownfish or the old famous Nemo. Looks like Nemo. Uh, this is a clownfish from the number six. So I've got my paper my sharpie ready to go now remember you can always use a pencil to start with just in case you want to fine-tune anything you can rub things out have another go so here we go hopefully I don't make any mistakes myself otherwise we are gonna have a problem I'll have to start again because I'm using a sharpie straight up anyway number six that's the first thing we start with so what we're gonna do over on this sort of side of the paper here on the left side it doesn't matter, you can draw it on the right side if you want, but if you want to follow along with me, it's probably best you start on the same side as me. If not, challenge yourself and try and draw it in the opposite direction. It'd be pretty hard to do, or a bit of a challenge. So, here we go, number six. Very simply, a six, just like that. There's our number six. Now, inside that number six, what we're going to do is the eye of the fish so that simply is done like this bring it down and around like that and make the sort of eyeball shape here and we're gonna have a little reflection left in the eye so I'm gonna do a little circle just like that towards sort of going back towards the back of the eye a little and then colour that in black but do not go inside the little reflection that we want the eye there so that's what I'm looking for there looks pretty good but you can see the, the eye of the fish already looking a bit like suspiciously like a Nemo sort of shape. So down off the six, now what we do, we sort of follow this curve of the six that we had here, and we sort of follow that down and bring a curve up and around like this. And then put a little cheek line. So this is what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna follow that down and bring that back up just somewhere there put a little cheek line on that fish. Now, that, I mean, that's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it's okay. Good for what we want to do today. So you can see we've got the eye, got the, sort of like the nose and the bit of the mouth and stuff going on there. So now from here, on the top of the six, we're gonna bring this down and around. We're gonna finish up around about in line with the top of that cheek line. So let's go. This is what we're doing here. So bring that up, down and around and finishing up about there. Something like that. Now, I mean, look, this is not perfect, but it is okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, we're gonna draw a little fin action here. The fin does look a little bit strange it's not a classic fin of a fish but we're going to give it a go here so i'm going to draw some sort of fin like this that sort of shape there okay now my fish i've actually done quite sort of short but that's okay too because you could actually draw another fish over here clownfish often hang out and a couple of uh, fish together so a little not quite a school but there might be a you know like a, a pair of clownfish hanging out together 
um, in the old sea anemones. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to bring the mouth down from here and go back towards that fin. So we're going to bring the mouth down like this and then we're going to curve it back around to touch up where that fin is, just like that. Okay, now what we need to do here is add a tail. So the tail, I actually should have probably brought this out a little bit further. This line here could have come out of here somewhere. But this is just going to be a short little, little stubby guy. So this fish now, what I need to do here is do a bit of a tail. And the tail sort of going to have this frilly sort of look like the, the um, pectoral fin here. So let's do that. Now bring this out from here. Make a little bit of a frilly sort of little looking tail like that. Bring it back up and around there. Okay, just like so, something like that anyway. Again, if yours is a little bit different, it doesn't matter at all. Okay, it's okay if yours looks a little bit different to mine. So, we need a dorsal fin for our fish, our little Nemo. So we're going to draw a fin on top here. Have these again, have these sort of little bumps going on like that. And then we're going to add some, uh, some sort of like spinals, fin lines. Uh, into these fins too. We need to add them into the dorsal fin, the pectoral fin and the rear, the tail. So let's do that. We're going to add some lines coming down like this. Sort of curve them a little bit there. And uh, again the tail. We have some coming out like that, fanning out. That's okay. And then a couple fanning out again into the pectoral fin just like that. Now at this point what we want to do is start adding some of those distinctive lines that a clownfish has, you know the white and orange lines. They're actually the white separating the orange. So let's add a little bit of the stripe action. So basically what you do there is we have some lines coming down from the top here. We will sort of finish them off around about there before they get down into the the um, into the fin. We don't want to get pre-drag those into the fin. So let's do a couple of these here. Around about again from where the top of the dorsal fin is there. We can have those lines coming down. So let's have like sort of wavy lines there. Another one that sort of follows that. All right, you want to follow the similar shape that you've put in there. And you just finish them off like that. And again, we're going to do another one over here. In between here will be orange. So we're going to have another one here, there, and another one here. think that's pretty good. You could have another one here if you wanted to. And again, just do that. That would be fine. So, there is your Nemo fish. My little Nemo is looking a little bit different to Nemo, but he's pretty cool. And uh, again, I've got a fair bit of paper left here, so I could draw another clownfish in here. Don't forget to draw a background in yours as well. Let's not just leave it as a white background. Have a some sort of background going on. I might add some seaweed. Well, actually, I'm going to do a, a sea anemone, I think. It's because these guys hang out in sea anemones. If you don't know how to draw those, I'm going to draw one in a second, but I'm going to do it in fast motion. And uh, if you need, you can always look up for a sea anemone on the internet just to see how to draw one. Um, otherwise, just put some seaweed in the back or 
rocks, anything you want. A bit of coral. You can put whatever you like in there. Even draw another Nemo. Okay, girls and boys, I hope you enjoyed this activity. And Flinta. <laughs>